So one common myth when people have a reaction to penicillin is that all penicillin reactions are the same. And in fact, the patient will come to us and say, I'm allergic to penicillin. But there are two major categories of reactions to penicillin. One is, as we mentioned, immunologic reactions or allergy. An example of this would be um, anaphylaxis. Someone takes penicillin and breaks out in hives, might have shortness of breath, maybe need an adrenaline shot or EpiPen. So that would be an example of allergy. But there's a whole host of other reactions to penicillin that have nothing to do with the immune system. One of the most common side effects of penicillin is stomach pain and diarrhea. Um, it is actually in the package insert. And a lot of people think of that occurring because there's a lot of good bacteria in your intestine and penicillin will kill good and bad bacteria. And the loss of that healthy bacteria can lead to stomach issues and diarrhea. Now, certainly that was a reaction when you took that medication, but it had nothing to do with the immune system. And so therefore, that's something that could be managed possibly with probiotics or other measures to see if you can still get the medicines you need, but avoid some of the side effects that you have. A second common misconception associated with penicillin allergy is that it doesn't matter because there are alternative antibiotic classes. However, this is not the case, and in fact, penicillin allergies have actually been deemed a public health risk, and this is due to the far-reaching clinical as well as economic consequences associated with these labels. And the third one is the most interesting, and that is a very common belief is, is that once I have penicillin, I'm going to have penicillin allergy for the rest of my life. And interestingly, they've looked at people with penicillin allergy testing over time. What we find is that about 10% of them lose that allergy every year. So if you take, you know, take that into consideration, after 10 years, the majority of people who have an existing penicillin allergy will have outgrown it. So, so to summarize, even if you yourself have a history of penicillin allergy, there's multiple opportunities for us to figure out whether you're truly allergic to it and potentially remove that label and allow you to get the medications that you need.